Okay, so take a moment and feel your three pillars, feel your central equilibrium. The balls of your feet reach to the crown. Knees are unlocked. Open the jade pillow gate. Release the qua. Sung, sinking. Reach with the elbows, opening the shoulder joints. Reach with the fingers. To the ball of the right foot, set the right knee, spiral down to the left, turn to the right, pick up the left foot and step out. Left ball, set the left knee, spiral down to the right, and turn to the left. Now feel the ball of the left foot, set the left knee, spiral down to the left, pick up your right foot and step forward with the right foot. Feel the ball of the right foot. Push your right knee forward and set that. And reach out. You'll feel into this. This is the, the finish line for the, the on movement, the push in the in the in the in that particular form. You want to associate or familiarize yourself with that feeling. So you want to feel the weight about 70% in your right foot. Your left leg is almost straight. You're really feeling strong in that right leg. Like you're sinking down into that, you're releasing down into the quad. Notice that my hips and shoulders are squared up. I'm not turned, I'm facing directly at you. The elbows are not collapsed, but they're not out, they're just, they're reaching. So that opens up the shoulder joint. They're a little bit away from the body, but not, not so much that I can feel the shoulder tension. So feel the ball of the left foot. Set the left knee, this is your back leg, and begin to release your left quad. This, unlike other postures where I encourage you to spiral down, this one's a little different. You're gonna sit down into your back leg. You're gonna sit down and by Releasing here, it's almost like you're sitting down on a bar stool as you're you're doing that. You're you're sitting down, but very, very slowly and easily. And as you do that, you reach with your elbows. So this, so you're opening the shoulders as you open the quads. So you both these are get it. And notice your elbows have gone from from down here to you're rotating your forearms so the palms are down and your elbows are up and your arms are lengthened. So you're moving away, you're moving away from your hands as you do that, reaching with the elbows so that you're feeling between your shoulder blades. Just get the feeling of that. And as you're sitting down, you're reaching down with your elbows but without forgetting your connection to your fingers, through your wrists. So like your forearms, your wrists, your fingers, they are all kind of coming down very heavy as you sink into your left leg, your left qual. Real important, notice what I'm doing here. I'm gonna give you a side view. What I'm not doing is this. I'm not rocking back like this, okay? Notice what's happening here is I'm sinking in and notice that I'm reaching down here, sitting down, 
but my back is well forward of my, my back heel. So as I'm coming in here like this, I'm releasing down and kind of um, uh, straightening out the, the back. So there's a, I'm sinking into that as I sit down into my qual. So there's sit down. So as I'm pulling in here and reaching out the elbows, there's a sense of heaviness in the arms. So this is the, the wave coming in. Left ball, set the left knee, sink. As, you, as you're dropping in here, there's a, a flattening out of the lower spine as your pelvic bowl stays um, level as you go back. If you just rock back, there's a tendency for the pelvic bowl to tilt forward, but we want to keep it nice and even. We don't spill any of the, uh, the chi out of the bowl there. So as we come in here, so at this point, just feel into that. So there is a continuity from my fingertips through my feet extending through the whole body. There's a, there's a, a tensegrity that unifies the whole system. On a physical level, it's at that connective tissue system level. And on the energetic level, there's a continuity in the, in the chi. There is a sense of uh, a unified energy. And the energy, the direction of the energy is in and down. So there's a mm, in and down. Now feel the ball of your right foot. Push your right knee forward. So you're setting that that post there with the with the with the right leg. Reach to the elbows and release into the right quad now. So you're releasing down, you're sitting down. And again, you're, you're adjusting your pelvic bowl so that you're, it's nice and level by flattening out the spine as you do this. You're, you're creating your, a springy quality in the, in the spine. Reach with the elbows, open the shoulders. So you're starting to load up that, that right leg as you do this. You feel the ball of the right foot. You set the right knee and release, load up that front leg and then reach forward. You, first you set the elbows and then you reach forward with the wrists. Feel your wrists and then feel your fingers. And then we're back to our starting position. But doing that again, feel the ball of the left foot, set the left knee, sink into the left quad, reach with the elbows, and reach back with the wrists as the hands come back and down, round the back, so that you're, you're feeling that springiness, that one of those qualities of the water is that springy quality. Now feel the ball of the right foot. Set the right knee. Sink into the right quad. Reach with the elbows. Reach with the wrists, the fingers, and extend. Okay, so let's do that a few times. Can you do it again just a little faster? Do a little faster? Yeah, just so they can see the... Okay, the so doing it this way a little faster. So we're going from here is... Yeah, that's right. Again, the ball knee cross, sink, elbows, wrists, fingers, sink. Right ball knee, qua elbows, wrists, 
finger is pushed until you get that, that waveform. So let's do that as a wave. There we are. So start nice and slow, sink. Feel the water. Heaviness coming down, sink, and expressing outward, up and out, and down and in, yeah. up and out. Yeah. Step back. And let's do it with the left foot forward. Do it uh, this way first. So right here. Just take a moment, familiarize yourself with that. Feel yourself really loaded up in that left leg now. Feel the right ball, set the right knee. Sink into the right claw, reach with the elbows, wrists, sink, round the back, hands come down, left ball, knee, claw, elbows, wrists, fingers, right ball, knee, claw, elbows, wrists, fingers, back, sink, left ball, knee, claw, Continue. Left foot forward. Sink. Feel the water. The heaviness of the water as you come down and the explosiveness as you come out and down. Step in. And let's just do it in a more compact form now. So we're going to ah, sink. So if you release the quad, sink, reach the elbows, the wrists, the fingers, and reach. Once you get the energy of this, feel the energy as its own thing, then it becomes uh, something that you can take out of the Tai Chi form and bring into application. And if you just want to do with one hand, And the other hand, heaviness coming down, sink elbow, wrists, fingers, and coming out and coming down. And we get the two hands together so that they're
And then bring that in. Now just stand there for a moment and feel the water energy independent of the movement. Feel the ball of the right foot, set the right knee, spiral down to the left, step in, deep breath. And disappear the chi. Dissolve into the emptiness. This is where the alchemy happens. She is transformed into Shen, spirit. 